much for joining us here on this wonderful Sunday. I'm meteorologist Addison Green. Soon meteorologist Tracy Anthony will be joining us. We're diving into the cold conditions, very, very cold conditions across the Northeast. Then we're going to head on to the opposite, opposite side of things, I should say, where temperatures are 10 to 20 plus degrees warmer than average. So I'm sure the folks in the Northeast would love to flock downtown to the Southwest. But speaking of the Northeast, we saw a very cool site and we're gonna go ahead and bring in Matthew Capucci, has a little bit of some insight about what was going on with that very cold air. All right, guys, take a look at this. You can see just how much sea smoke is on the surface of the ocean, extremely, extremely rare, but because we have a 50 degree temperature difference, between the water, which is around 40 degrees at this time of year, and the air just above it, we are seeing very, very remarkable sea smoke. I've never seen this before to this extent, so it really is truly remarkable. I'm standing in the ground right now, if you can take a look. But you can see it's just a little bit wet. Look at that smoke just rising up. And now, technically not necessarily smoke, but instead, it's what's called kind of Arctic sea fog, more or less. Just a bit like I said, so far, basically steam. Yeah, that is definitely a very cool sight to see and a little unusual to get down across portions of the Northeast, especially while in the Atlantic Ocean area. I mean, that's something, a sight you would find across the upper Midwest, going through Minnesota and into Canada. That's when you get a very, very cold air going over a relatively milder body of water. So you're creating that steam-like effect and again, a little bit of that wispiness as a light wind just very much carries it off. And like we saw in Niagara Falls earlier on, there's a big column of it in one spot. So a lot of cool sights going across the Northeast as temperatures are trying to bounce back. But let's go ahead and bring in meteorologist Tracy Anthony with us, where we're going to be uh, talking about those milder temperatures further out to the West. Tracy? Yeah, definitely, Anthony. We're going to switch gears here. And instead of talking about the 